Taylor Lee Wood, a teenager, left home alone, downloads a leaked footage online uploaded by someone anonymous, which causes him to be hunted by a demonic animatronic possessed by sinister interdimensional spirits. Hi folks, I'm R and welcome to Chimpy Chippas, a game where a monkey is very hungry and doesn't want a banana, but instead wants a human soul, or something like that. Keep in mind that this video will have spoilers, and with that said, let's begin. Intending to watch a leaked band commercial on his laptop, the protagonist being a kid called Taylor witnesses the tape being old blooper retakes of a restaurant called Chimpy Chippas, a place having a family oriented theme with a mascot under logo of a chimpanzee. Do you want to know what's driving everyone bananas? Well, come on down to Chippy Chippers. Enjoy our wide range of milkshakes, burgers, and fries, and we'll have you coming back for more. Are you as excited as Chipper the Chip is to, uh, eat all of uh... Shit. Sorry, sorry. Bloody monkey. Just, who cares? Just, we're, we're gonna do it again. Just give me another go. From the top. The first take shows how the voice actor becomes distracted, witnessing the terrifying mascot, stopping his script when the video starts from the top once more. As the new take is about to take place, the video glitches with cryptic texts appearing that someone is hungry, being trapped in a specific place for so long. When the text becomes creepier, informing Taylor that Ed is seeing him sitting behind the laptop. Taylor, thinking this is a prank, continues watching the video, dismissing the creepy texts. The second retake is cut short when the mascot is shown again, with the voice actor explaining that he cannot finish the script because of how creepy the mascot is. That's when the video gets stuck with Chippa the Chimpy turning its eyes on, staring directly at Taylor when he starts getting creeped out, crossing out the video and closing it. Just while doing that, Chippa follows the mouse cursor with its eyes, with the computer glitching out and text showing even after the video is closed, warning Taylor that he will die and that Chippa is coming. The video then causes the laptop to malfunction and get an error when suddenly a camera security alert is shown, triggered by motion being detected by the security cameras installed in and outside of the house. Checking the feed from all of the cameras, Taylor notices a figure resembling the mascot from the band commercial being present in the boundaries of the house. That's when all the lights in the house turn off, forcing the kid watching the video to turn on his phone's night vision to see in the dark. Horrified to what he just witnessed, Taylor gets off his seat, navigating through the house. He finds a note left over by his father, informing him that he'll be back tomorrow night from work, unveiling that Taylor will be all alone in the house for a full day. Going down to the basement to turn on the lights, large words reading hungry are seen written all over the walls, when suddenly Taylor hears robotic footsteps of an entity coming down, which causes him to hide in the nearby locker in a panic. Hiding inside, he witnesses in crippling fear the reincarnation of the robotic monkey mascot walking around, looking for Taylor, depicting how the cryptic texts on the video were not just a prank, but the demonic animatronic is indeed alive and out there to kill and eat Taylor. Taylor musters all of his courage, determined to escape the house and get some help, getting as far as humanly possible from the entity. As Taylor in panic gets to the main door and opens it, he finds himself opening a portal to the old school Chimpy Chippa's diner, not believing his own eyes. Taylor steps into the diner, just inspecting the environment in shock, confused to what is happening, when Chippa from behind shuts the door on him, trapping him in this surreal place. Walking through the old diner, Taylor goes to the seating area, walking around the dark corridor when he reaches a door, which opens to a house with with old school wallpaper covered with paintings of Chippa's green eyeballs. A writing on the wall reads that someone's space is theirs and that she is watching Taylor with all of them watching him. Finding a wedding picture, the back reads about Miranda and Sylvester Rigby wedding day dated 4th of April 1983. Remembering the date, Taylor inputs the year on a padlock which opens the way through a door. The door leads to a bedroom where Taylor finds a key to a door and a note written on December 7th, 1983. I initially thought I was blessed to have my baby touched by a higher power, 
but the false spirits tricked me. I hear the thoughts. They grow inside me and are wary I will lose control. Act against God. They hunger for a space to feed in. Only negative energy satisfies them and humanity suffers so much. We are the perfect food for them. There's nothing I can do to save my baby. God help us all. Miranda. This note reveals that Miranda, a newly wed bride, senses voices and forces that try to control her. Forces that feed on her by negativity and bad energy. A sense of despair and suffering. These forces seemingly have managed to manifest themselves in the Chippa mascot animatronic, who hunt and latch themselves to specific people, one being Miranda who writes about her misery and experience, explaining how she's about to lose control with her child's safety being in danger, with Taylor being another who is being hunted and tormented, so that the dark forces break him down mentally to get him ready for possession. Taylor, taking the key he found earlier, manages to open Open the door to the cellar, which locks behind him, with Taylor finding himself in a big maze. Walking in the maze trying to navigate through, he comes across Chippa, who has a large and tall stature chasing after him, but interestingly, it runs really slow, as if trying to let Taylor go on purpose, maybe being part of Chippa's tactic to break down a target mentally so that they can be possessed. <laughs> Taylor, after a tense and suspenseful chase, manages to escape, going up a door which leads back to the diner. This time, the diner is fully dark, with a flashlight left in the middle of the hall as if intentionally placed there for Taylor. The radio then suddenly turns on, reporting on an incident that took place in January, which involved a pregnant woman, Miranda Rigby, keeping 29 people captive in the diner before shooting herself and ending her own life. Chimpy Chippos was open for three months before the shooting in January forced the temporary closure of the restaurant. Miranda Rigby, the woman who held 29 people captive inside Chimpy Chippos restaurant in January before she proceeded to shoot herself. This portrays the events that unfolded after the note she wrote down on December, which only took a month for her to lose control and unleash the sinister intentions of the entities that have been trying to borrow themselves into Miranda's mind. Going into the setting room, Taylor finds a revolver with a lot of ammunition when a dark, glowing green-eyed female entity sits on chasing after him. Taylor picks up the revolver and repeatedly shoots the dark figure in the eyes, which eventually disappears causing the lights to turn off, teleporting Taylor back to his house. The house seems to be back to normal with all the lights turned on and the hungry writings not being present anymore as if they never were there to begin with. Taylor, catching his breath and starting to calm down, checks the camera feed for reassurance when he changes channels, finally coming to the horrifying sight of Chippa, being accompanied by many other dark figures with glowing green eyes, when a petrifying voice informs Taylor that this is just the beginning. You thought you could escape us, and yet, you have set us free. You watched the video and walked through our spaces. Now we follow you back to your world. And we are so hungry. Taylor watched the video which acted as a gateway for Chippa and his companions to enter the real world, with Taylor walking through their spaces. This in return granted Chippa and the other dark entities the ability to enter the world, following Taylor as a guide, breaking through the different universes barrier, being extremely hungry, wanting to break through people's minds. That's when Chippa opens a door leading to the diner, appearing behind Taylor, revealing how easy it is for them to move back and forth from their realm to the real world. With Taylor seemingly joining the dark figures, the fate of humanity is unknown, with the entity seemingly wanting to satiate their hunger by consuming the happiness of humanity. After Taylor's disappearance from the face of Earth, internet and newspapers report on a strange happening that the Chimpy Chippa's diner has reappeared back on where it used to be. 
Not much more is revealed in regards to the entities and Chippa itself and whether they are visible to people as well or not. However, based on the information provided, it's evident that the woman, Miranda Rigby, who shot herself and kept 29 people captive in the diner, was controlled by a sinister spirit which she initially thought to be from God a blessing sent from above. But she soon discovers all the voices and senses she received were from evil sources, which she let in, allowing them to take control of her. She subsequently goes to Champy Chippa's restaurant, shooting herself after keeping 29 others hostage, most of them being kids. Chippa, on the other hand, has an ambiguous story to whether it was originally evil or if it became possessed by the entity Miranda let in, who goes to the diner and lets the dark spirits roam around. After the restaurant shuts down, the spirits seem to be trapped in there, hence why they keep saying that they're hungry, hungry for more visitors and people whom they can possess and find a way into through negative energy and suffering. Taylor, being a curious boy, watched the band commercial, which allowed the dark entities trapped awaken, manipulating Taylor to carry out all the rituals necessary for them to break out and infect others. Eventually, the diner fully reappears out of thin air, allowing the entities to easily access this world, with unlimited amount of food being the humans. This game is directly linked to a set of analog horror videos with the same exact name. Watching the videos, more information is revealed about the story that Miranda lost their mind, took a gun to Chimpy Chippas, and started shouting curses at God while pointing her gun at 29 bystanders, with most of them being kids. Miranda explains in secret texts after her death that she had no control, explaining that the dark entity wants people's space, only being able to live where there's negative energy. She continues that the more people the force manages to kill, the more likely it comes to the world. Therefore, this portrays that Chippa was possessed by a dark force that managed to infiltrate the real world after Miranda's death, taking her space in the real world. That means if more people don't Die, more dark forces come, taking the place of the victims. Following newspaper in the coming months revealed that Chimpy Chippas struggled to keep the diner open after their mascot started acting up, malfunctioning and scaring the children, depicting how the dark entity is in fact possessing it. After the diner's closure, Chippa mascot is given away which is kept in a warehouse called Wellbells. In October, the same year in 1984, an attempt at theft leads to a mystery case. The burglar who broke into the warehouse disappears without any sign, with the recorded footage revealing that Chippa had something to do with it. The horrifying fate of the burglar is revealed through cryptic texts that his consciousness is trapped in a void with the dark entity managing to kill him so others like it can come to the world. This is followed by a 911 call with the caller on the line repeating that they're hungry in a robotic voice. What's that just the emergency? Hungry. 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 Hungry.
As a result, a police officer is sent to the warehouse to investigate when they get attacked by Chippa. The police officer narrowly manages to survive by repeatedly shooting it, managing to disable it by shooting one of its eyes. The animatronic then ends up in a landfill with the authorities finding something unexpected in the warehouse. The corpse of Sylvester Rigby, the husband of Miranda who shot herself back in January. The news reporting live on this incident gets a random interference of Chippa with sinister cryptic texts saying that so many are watching and that it is hungry seemingly trying to open a gateway for itself to enter the real world alongside many other hostile entities like itself. Chimpy Chippas, failing to run the business any longer due to the shooting, decides to let out the diner to a setcom in order to recoup some of the losses. However, the setcom cancels early in May due to unexplained reasons. The sitcom being called Monkey Business displays jokes acting as metaphor to the shooting, including a glitched out text from Miranda asking for help for people not to let the entities take her husband, Sylvester. This depicts that Miranda, despite losing her physical form in the real world, is trapped in a void just like the burglar who broke into the warehouse in October. The people who seem to have fallen victim to these dark forces manage to communicate through transmissions and TV, something that these entities are able to manipulate as well as they could corrupt recorded footage and cause interference. The videos act like a gateway for them to teleport from their realm to this world as well. The atmosphere then suddenly changes to color green with the female character in the show suddenly having glowing green eyes just like Chippa and Miranda when she was under control control, a visual sign of who might be possessed by the dark entities. That's when the female character punches her specific other with many pair of green eyes appearing behind the window with texts suggesting that there are many of them now with their hunger never being satisfied, pleading with the viewers to give themselves up as the entities require space and want to eat more. This reveals the real reason why the show was cancelled as the entities had taken over the diner, possessing anyone who stepped foot there. After the sitcom is cancelled and Chimpy Chippa's diner is closed, in December 1984, the diner is set ablaze, burning down, with several recordings being recovered. A woman is heard shouting and crying when setting the place on fire in order to get rid of these monstrous beings. After she burns alongside the restaurant, a text appears, revealing how she can communicate through transmissions, explaining that she was one of the hostages at the shooting, someone who was called Rose and called emergencies at the time of the shooting. She continues that the dark entity attached itself to her at the time of the shooting, which made her make the decision to burn the diner with herself inside so that she could get rid of them, especially for her daughter to be safe. That's when the embodiment of the unseen entities are observed through glowing green eyes appearing on the badly burned corpse of Rose, which exit her body being drifted away in the air as if they are a smoke. Chippa, being in a landfill, suddenly awakens with its eyes glowing green. It goes to the burning diner with all the other entities like itself transferring into it so that Chippa can give them a temporary home, acting as a host, until they find more suitable buddies to possess. Meanwhile, a boy called Braddy Wetlock, being curious about the entire incident, goes to the burning and films the fire. That's when he sees a glowing green smoke get out of the diner, which terrifies Sam running away back home. In his house, he notices Chippa being present, which malfunctions with one of its eyes bursting, incapacitating it. Braddy calls 911 and reports to them what happened, explaining the green glow followed him home, and it was the green glow smoke which destroyed the Chippa animatronic and saved him. An exchange of texts revealed this green smoke represents a victim the entities killed, no one other than the heroic Rose who has a warrior spirit, fighting the entities even after death. 
Rose explains that these entities can survive only through visual contact, which means by destroying its other functioning eye, the entities become trapped in a host body, unable to cause any more harm. This is of course until Taylor in 2020s found a leaked bank commercial from Chimpy Chippas and watched it, opening the gateway once more for the entities to enter the world. Uh, I've been following the whole Chimpy Chippas thing since the January shooting. Everyone had their own theories about it. I live close to the restaurant, so when I saw it in flames, I had to get it on tape. It's been taken in to be studied. Given everything that's happened, we need to be prepared if anything like this happens again. I'm not a superstitious man, but whatever we're dealing with is way beyond human. And I've got a feeling this isn't the end. And that's it for this video, folks. If you enjoyed it, you can stay tuned for more by hitting on the subscribe button and the notification bell. And also don't forget to send me your game requests on my Twitter. It's been your host, Star. Until the next time, have a fantastic day.